Hey everybody, it's Ultimate Mario Spinning here. I cut ahead with the talking from Call for Grigas because I didn't want to rush this. I don't want to take too long in this video because my phone, my phone's kind of dying. Like it won't record that many in that long of videos. So I think it'll only take up to 13. So in this ep in last episode, we opened the um, port. We opened the poster portal, entered the wish park, and hopefully. And now we're facing Kofagrigus's improved. Hold up, I gotta do something for a second. Okay, improved cake contraption. Now I didn't scroll through the directions. So basically, all we're gonna be doing here is doing this, but with a little twist at the end. You'll get what I'm doing if you play ahead of me. Let's play first. Be nice to me now. Basically, you have to actually pass one f um, a set limit in this in this now. Like you don't have to just play it for fun. You actually have to pass a certain high score. I didn't read it. I for I didn't read. I didn't catch it. So I do not know what the score is. So I'm just gonna play it, play it, and see what, how I do. I believe the score is six. I believe the score is twenty something. With my luck, I'm gonna suck. Yes, now, not only can you, not only do you have to collect the ingredients, you have to bake the ingredients in the cake and put icing on them. It gets harder, it gets harder as they fling more. Chocolate ones, of course, are worth more because they're made from the blue ones. And you're probably wondering where the gold ones are. They'll come, they'll come soon, I'll point them out. Hear that, Yamas? Go fly by with the golden piece and turn that into cake with, for extra points. Of course, you'd never want to let those go. Yes, vanilla, I also hold them too. I don't know why they have vanilla, I told them. So they have like stubby little arms, but. Yes, they also have a Pokemon though, as I think it's Wimmy's Cot, holding the cake too. I don't know why they have those. Uh, I thought only Yamas could hold them because, you know, like Coffee is pre evolution and that's all that stuff. And wow, I didn't get the cup of cake. So yeah, I finished the game off with, five that was, uh, with a total score of 53,800. If anybody can beat that score on their first try, please post a video response. No, this isn't the one I'll give away prizes on. There's one later. It's coming up actually after we're done in the, the wish. After we're done in this part of the wish park later on in my videos, but we're not there yet. And I wish I could skip ahead. So basically, you think, oh yeah, you beat the game. You beat the game. You beat the attraction. He's just gonna get. He's just gonna get to the wish. Wish. Wish belt. Well, we're gonna find out. How could it be? How did you conquer the improved cake contraption? Very well, the real battle begins now. We shall never let you approach, approach the wish bell. We shall not let it ring. So basically, Kofagrigus says no. I don't get why he just stands there. I guess it's a battlefield or something. We said we won't let you approach it. My MS stop. My Yamask. Yamask. Stop them. Yes. Coming up, we have our first, our first major boss battle. Basically, all you have to do in this is break Kofagrigus' cake. Yes. Destroy the cake, and then I'll tell you what you do after this. I'm not explaining it yet. So basically, you just go up. You, yeah, yes, 
you also get attacked by EMS. Yeah, so sometimes it is also a good idea to keep moving. And, you, and yes, Coffrigus does attack you too. So basically, yep, yeah, that's it. Wow, that was shorter than I remember. Okay, you think, oh yeah, you beat his cake? Uh, no. Vermin, ruining our lovely cake. Very well, it's come to this. We shall deal with it, with it ourselves. Come, our duel shall commence. I'm playing as Oshawa because we play as Pikachu a lot in this game, and Oshawa needs some screen time. Yes, this battle was very hard when I when I first played this because. Yes, that move will follow you, so you want to keep moving. He has a hand, a he, yeah, he has a hand slap. Hit him while he's doing that, and you can basically get him while he's down. Run away while he's like that, because it will try to hand slap you. Hit him while he's doing that, and boom! It's the plan. Run away. Dodge your move. Coming close. Yes, he will follow you, so you want to let him do that. Then you can charge up in certain parts. Like you can charge, you can charge up to hit him. Like this part, like you have, you can charge up to hit him, but I don't. I just wait for him to do this. And basically, I think we just beat him. No, we gotta take. There we go. Yeah, that's a bold thing I did right there. You could de definitely get flat flown back. But this is not a hard boss battle if you know what you're doing. But it's the first major boss battle in this game. Yeah, and I think it pr went pretty well. I mean, we have like six minutes left, so. I thought this boss battle was going to take forever, but no, it didn't. How could we have lost? Oh, Master, the cake zone is finished. Basically, it opens the bridge up for us. Alright, we if we ring the bell, everyone will go back to normal. Yes, we know how to dash into the bell. So basically, as you do jump, pop up this cake. Nice cake. I wonder why nobody I wonder why Munchlax never ate the floor, just ate the cake. Basically you just run into it. I don't know why Oshawa doesn't fly back and get hurt from it like in the old and like in the first Pokemon that you run into Pokemon that's heavier than you you'll get flown back with a gigantic headache. I like me Okay, I like. I was gonna talk, but I said, "Now nah, let's keep quiet." I'm sorry about ruining the rest of the video, but you probably know what it is. But anyways, um, basically, I like how there's one thing I like about that. It's how most likes want to eat the cake, stay and eat the cake. We returned everyone from the cove area to normal, but I didn't see Piplup anywhere. Hey, Coffergrigus, where'd where'd you hide Piplup? Piplup? Oh, the tottering little blue guy. He may have wa oh sorry for the Oshawa thing. He may have wandered into the uh, into a, into another zone. Ka ha ha! Looks like you have a question. This wish park is beyond your imagination. Our Utopia has four zones plus Wish Palace, the master's dwelling. The Cake Zone's bell has been rung true, but the, that is not significant to open the path to the Wish Palace. You must first defeat the three remaining attractions. You shall never make it there. Hmm. You know the troublemakers Gothita was talking about? The Covarious Pokemon were taken away from us, but... Pokemon from all over the Poke Park are gathering here in Wish Park. We'll make sure every Pokemon is captivated by Wish Park. We will create the world where the good times never end. That is our master's plan, and I won't let anyone interfere. Yeah, 
Yes, if you didn't know, got the only reason Cophagricus is afraid of Gothita and the other ones is and Gothita and Goth Gotharita is because ghost type is go I think yeah because it's a ghost dark type or I think it's ghost poison what whatever the one the psychic is better against it. The psychic is super effective against it oh they're gone four zones and wish palace who could their master be let's go back to samurai for now Yes, and you magically beat cake. No, we have to go back. So anyway guys, we're running a bit low on time here, so I'm going to end the video off here. So, next time on Pup Park 2 Wonder Beyond, we're going to tell Samurai about the Wish Palace and the Four Zones and... Oh, no. Cutscene! Great! Pikachu. What is happening to Wish Park is just the beginning. A major disaster is unfolding in the Poke Park. You are destined to save Poke Park from this disaster. It may be a long journey, but you can save Poke Park if you join forces with your pals. There's probably going to be another cutscene at the coming end, so I'm not going to say what I'm going to say. That pissed me off. What? You met a big white Pokemon in the field of fire? And it asked you to save Poke Park? Wow. He's dreaming. He's a big dreamer. Hey, maybe that was Reshram. This po th the Pokemon from the legend. That's so cool. If you meet, uh, if you, if you meet again, I want to come too. Well, let's go visit Samurai. Okay, so I'm gonna end it off here. So next time, a Pokemon do one to be on. We're gonna go to. We're gonna talk, tell Samurai about the Wish Park, Wish Park, and the Four Zones, and hopefully, um, and hopefully, adventure, find, adventure off into a new area. So. I'll see you guys then.